So I thought I was not explaining the earlier part very well. So I'm going to go through this section one more time. Now this section doesn't require any coding. All you need to do, try to understand and follow me. And if you still have questions, you should uh, just uh, put a comment below or find me on Twitter or Facebook. I would appreciate that. Anyway, so now here we come over here, this go chat. Now we know that go chat actually comes from here, right? So if we click on one of these methods over here, so that that's one gets called, right? So we can confirm that by looking for it. So over here, we'll look for command O. So, uh, well, not really like that, this one. So we do go chat and we'll look for it. And we see that over here we have this. So this one actually gets called from contact list. And as we do it, actually, so it takes everything from this contact list, index by index, then we call this one. And as we click on this, so this gets called. Now this is the item that contains our user data, right? So we come over here in our go chat section. So it has this user data. So any user that's over here, it, this object user data or this model actually, it has everything about this certain person. We know about it right now, okay? So that is the first thing that we got cleared. Well, now second one, you will see over here that we have two sections, which is from messages and to messages. Well, now why we have like this, okay? Now from messages over here, you will also see that we have two where condition. So from UID and to UID. Now we know that from UID is your UID, the person who owns this phone, who owns this app. So from UID is this guy's UID, right? Now, of course, you may be watching this part earlier. You might not have this one yet in your case in the, the phase you are right now following this tutorial. Don't worry, just try to understand. You don't need this anyway, but I have already built the app and then I thought, okay, I should explain more so that you guys understand more, okay? So don't worry, just understand. Anyway, so this is the person that me, okay? I'm sending messages to any of these guys. So with this, we'll just get all the messages that I have sent to people. So this gets to this message and from UID and it tries to take everything. But now here, it would look like this. Let me show you a picture. All right. so think about this so most probably this is you or this is you it doesn't really matter so you are this guy the one that's in this uh, person section right so in this person section now you have many friends and these are your friends and these are the friends right so this friends equal to this friends over here any of them now you may have chatted with him him, him, or her. So you may have chatted with anyone or even maybe you may have chatted with her, okay? Now, what's gonna happen over here with this query up to here, you will get all the messages that you have sent to everyone that's friend with you. That's in your friend list, okay? So everyone that's over here, okay? Now that's the whole bunch of messages everyone you have sent to on earth in this context list, they would be all get queried. They would all get from using this one, okay? But I don't want this. What I want, if I tap on this guy or any of this, I want the chatting information of him or her, okay? So w what we are going to do over here, so we added a new one. This is to UID. So with this, what's gonna happen? Now let's take a take a look at this picture so i have so many friends this 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 and including her so i want to chat with her so that's why i add over here to uid so with this i'm going to be very precise that who i'm going to talk so i'm just going to talk with her so with this over here to uid so we are combining two where conditions so they are more like end okay so they are this end condition over here and condition, not or. So what's gonna happen after this query get executed, we'll get a collection. Now what will happen in this collection? In this collection, 
I will have only messages that I have sent to her. Okay, that's the thing. Only messages that I have sent to her, the messages I'll get, okay? So that's the first thing we have to do. And with this, I also make sure that we have chatted before, we have chatting information, okay? All right, with this, if this doesn't return empty, it means that we have talked and we too have talked before. And that's also very important that we too have talked before. All right, so uh, let me minimize it so that we get better visualization of what we are talking, right? Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Now we also have this one. Why? Now you will see that because in this chatting list over here, if I click him, I just want to see the chat between me and him. Now with the first query over here, over here, yes, I can get the messages that I sent to her, but not she sent to me. All right. So now there is this problem, right? Now I also want to get what she has sent to me. Now if you from the picture you'll see that we can see she also has tons of different fans and I'm one of them. So I have to make sure that I also query, I mean as a developer, that she sent the messages to me. Now just like earlier, if we just have up to this, what will happen? will get all the messages that she has sent to everyone on earth on her contact list, right? So on her contact list, there are many people, I'm one of them, but we want to be more precise. So that's why we also add this one over here and the new condition. But here you should take a look that, yeah, I have using token. Now, what is this token? We know that the token is my token, my UID. So this is from actually Firebase. So if you are the person that's sending, so this is your UID, okay? So this token, this from UID actually is saved as token in our app, we know that. So yeah, so now with combining this two, we'll make sure that yes, we get the correct information, okay? All right, now once again here, you do see that from UID is the other person's UID, not mine, because this time we are doing a query about her that she has talked to everyone and then she has just talked to me. So this is also another end condition, okay? So now over here inside this, we check if this two person, this two have chatted or not, okay? So if they haven't, if they didn't chat, it means this would be empty, okay? This would be empty because it has to be both of them have chatted to them. As long as I send you a message, Actually, there should be something in your list as well. You send me a message, there should be something in my list as well, okay? So we expect that none of, none of them to be empty. Now, but if I find that, hey, it, it returns empty, that means that this two person, they have never talked with anyone. It means they have never sent a message to other person. It doesn't have to be uh, bilateral. At least any of them has sent message, hasn't sent message to, anyone else so that's the idea so what's gonna happen if nobody has talked before so as soon as I click on this as soon as I click on this so I'm gonna add a message list a message actually so and I'm gonna add a record actually this is a message record so this record is more like this one all these fields over here as soon as I as soon as I click on this over here, so this would be created, okay? Even though, yes, there would be an empty message, but that also means that uh, even though that there is no message, but there would be a document ID. Why? As you can see over here, so first we create all this fail and we try to save information. And after that, over here, you see that we are adding a data, this message data. It means we are adding everything this information so this information would get added over here and that's what we'll see and in fact that's what i see like you see this guy his id is er er e2p now actually i can confirm like uh, if you see well i do have a bit of error here uh, excuse that error i'll fix it later and i'll show you guys how to fix it so e2p so this is the id that's got called and this is his id right Okay, or the ID of our we two guy. So every over here. So what will happen? This ID is the ID of me and him. So me and him, or in this case her actually. 
So every time we'd be talking, every chat information is go, go through this ID. So what's gonna happen over here? When I clicked, when I clicked over here, this guy, this has been created actually. And let's see how it's created. Actually it's auto created as you can see. I don't even have to submit over here. So an ID is created. That means I was trying to chat with him, okay? All right, so that's created and after that, Actually, it takes us to a new route. Well, this route needs our UID, the ID, I mean doc ID. This is the doc ID that's been created. We take that one. And the person that I'm talking to, his ID, I I'm trying to talk to his ID. And the person, uh, I'm talking his name and photo URL. So everything is created, okay? And then it takes me to a page like this, okay? So that's what we understand. So yeah, this is this is something that was missing from the previous lecture in detail. So I I was I thought okay I'm going to make it up to you guys. Uh, anyway, now at the same time, what happens next time I click on this? Because I have to make sure that this ID is created only once, and that's what we do over here. So that's what we check over here, as you can see with this. So inside this, we checked that this ID has has been this document ID, which is this one actually has been created only once, okay? All right, so next time I'm checking on this, so this would not be empty. So this is not going to be empty. If this is not empty, well, then we can start chatting so we have this route, okay? All right, now these two routes may look exactly very similar, but there is only tiny difference over here. So if you are the person that trying to chat to him, so yes, we're gonna get the message ID from message ID one, uh, or if the other guy, so that would be like two messages, okay? But this could be optimized more and we'll see in future that we do that. But this is where we see the very basic understanding why we have this two. If we don't have this two, we'll have a bunch of messages. And with this, we make sure that we have fewer messages and exact messages that we need. And another thing you should need to know. Now here, why we have this docs first ID why we just don't write something like this, the one that we created over here. Uh, let's, let me see over here, actually that should be at the top, over here, inside this, yes. So over here, you'll see that I just, uh, how we return this value, we add, after adding, we wait, because with this, then we wait, and then as we get the value, the value contains the UID, right? So, I mean, the document ID, which is this ID, so we get that, right? Okay, now the question is, the question is why we didn't do it like this over here. Now you have to know that we did this query over here, this query. Now this query, eh, at the end we have get. Now this returns a collection, all right? Yeah, this returns a collection. Now I know that in our case, in the collection itself, we'll only have one object, one document ID, right? You can say, just go ahead and write the document ID. Why did you just write first ID? Does that mean there is a second ID, third ID, third dot ID? Well, no, there might not be third dot ID, but the way collection works in a lot of languages like Java, Python, or even Firebase, if you have a collection, if you want to get even only one, the first one, you have to use first dot ID. Yes, we know we have only one, so someone might say, just go ahead and use it directly. Why you have first? But that's not, that's not how the collections work. To be able to work with the collections, you have to have first.id. And most probably there's also last.id. But we are, those are not our concerns. Even though there is only one, but because since this is a collection, you have to get the information just like this. There is no other way around. So that's why we do first.id. Once again, this is, remember, this has to do with collection. But of course, if you do like this, you can do a dot and most probably you will also get last, okay? So there are a lot of things you could do, but in our collection, luckily, we just have only one. So uh, we get it directly, but we have to write first. There is no alternative to that, okay? But we know that after this query, because this query is, uh, well, it is end relationship. It will return eventually only one document ID, the one we have. Hopefully I made more sense than previous lectures. And if you did it, uh, if you understood it, that's very good. And if you still have questions, uh, just find me on Twitter or Facebook. I'll be able to answer your questions. And don't forget to give me a high rating uh, on this lecture. Thank you so much.